Well, hello, good evening. Can you hear me? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Eric? Good evening, teacher. Dina? Okay. Yes, good teacher. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we will begin here in about one minute at eight o'clock. So be ready. Be ready. Thank you for being punctual. So we will begin here shortly. And I will do my introduction here in, in a few seconds. So welcome. Thank you, Eric, Amirka, Juan, Evelyn, Dina, and Veronica. Thank you for joining the class tonight. We will have a lot of activities pending. I know you've had different teachers, but we will solve any inconveniences. See who how many are going to connect here shortly so we we can begin all together let me see uh, good evening good evening welcome yeah. pleased to meet you teacher nice to meet you too amilcar it's a pleasure it's a pleasure Pleasure is with mine. It's mine. <laughs> great, great, awesome. I'm glad yeah, you're yeah. here. We are about hey, we are about to begin. Let's see. Okay. Let's see you all send a message. Okay. We are, we have more connecting here. Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome. It's a pleasure to see all of you connecting okay and we will continue i saw some of the some of the topics that you have seen and i guess we're going i'm going to start where the other teachers left off okay so we empezar a continuación de donde se quedaron uh, los, las otras uh, maestras okay so let me see. <clears throat> okay, class, we are about to begin and I'm glad you are here today so you can continue progressing in the English language. And I am grateful for everyone here being punctual and on time and providing your time so you can learn and practice the English language. Now I'm going to speak English. Remember, this is a pre-intermediate class, pre-intermediate three. Now I might do a few words, right? Algunas palabras aquí, en, aquí, un poquito ahí, en Spanish. But other than that, it will be full English. Full okay. English. Okay, great, great, awesome. You see, we're, these are the topics that we should be covering today. Let me see, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Can you read the uh, topic, please? Hello, Veronica, Alnana. Uh, can you unmute your microphone, please? Okay, Veronica. Oh, I see. Hello. Okay, no, let's go. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hey. Okay. Can you? Hi. Hi. Welcome, Veronica. Welcome. Can you read the topics? The topics. Mm. Can you read the topics, please? Can you see my red, my red point? Conjunction. Okay. Mother barrels. Okay, thank you. Conjunction. Mother barrels. Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Motor barrels. Motor verbs. Motor verbs. Motor verbs. Okay, Veronica, can you repeat it? 
¿Lo puede repetir, uh, Veronica? Conjunctions. Yes. Conjunctions. Mother birds. Okay, very good, Veronica. Great, great effort. Very good job. Excellent. Eso, eso okay. es. Good job, good job. Now we're going, this is the topic, conjunctions and motor verbs. Motor verbs, okay? Motor verbs. And I'm pretty sure you saw this in the platform. Me imagino que ya lo vieron en la plataforma. But today's date, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. But first, what is today's date, Evelyn? Uh, I was very busy, right? Uh, oh, today's date. Today's date. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Monday, Monday July, uh, 20, um, sorry, I don't, okay. I don't remember. Okay, aquí está en la pantalla, it's on the screen, it's on the screen. 19? Okay. Okay, 20, 21. Very good, excellent. Today is Monday, July 19th, 2021, or 2021, pueden decir ambos, okay? 2021 or 2021, 2021, okay? Now, this is my name. I am Mr. Henry or your teacher Henry, your facilitator, okay? Mi nombre es Mr. Henry, and that is, I am going to be in charge of this class, okay? Ya no tendría más cambios. Okay, so you will be, I will continue giving you the class. So this is my name, si lo pueden escribir. Bueno, ya me, I already pronounced myself in the group. Ya me pronuncié en el grupo. So you can see my name there. And the administration, the administration also sent a message to the group. Okay. This is pre-intermediate three, and this is class number three. Si no me equivoco, right? Number three, class number three. Yes, it's true. Okay, great. Yes. Great. Great. Okay, so I introduce myself. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining one more time. And it's a pleasure having you here today. So let's begin with the topics. Okay? Empecemos ya con los temas. Ya a lo, a lo, al grano, como dice. All right, let's go straight to the, to the point. Now, there are some topics in the, in the, in the platform using the conjunctions, right? So, and and but. And and but. Okay, but and we, and but. Yes, those are the, the conjunctions that we will be looking at. But first, let's go to the platform, okay? Porque vamos a hacer, we are going to do these activities, okay? We are going to do these activities. And with me, eh, de mi parte, on my behalf, you will participate in the group, okay? Espero todos estén ya inscritos al grupo de WhatsApp, okay? I'm going to say it in Spanish. Espero que estén inscritos al grupo de WhatsApp porque les dejaré también actividades que las vamos a realizar y me las van a mandar a, al grupo, okay? So vamos a hacer extra actividades. Ahorita les voy a demostrar what I'm talking about. I will show you what I'm talking about with extra activities. Okay, let me see. Okay. First, let's go to the platform. Let me see. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, here in the platform, we're going to look at section 11.6, where we talk mm -hmm. about conjunctions, conjunctions. Okay, now I'm going to play the, the video, so please listen, be active. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice, so please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big city. But it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. 
We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Hi. Okay, great. I hope you listened to the, the audio and watched the video because we are going to work with these conjunctions. Okay, let me see. Stop share. Okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint here. And as you can see, I have some activities that are on the screen using and and but. Now remember, on the video, we, we heard that and and but, they're a little bit different, okay? They are, they are conjunctions and they normally go in between two, two points of view two points of view. We use and for two positive ideas or two negatives, okay? It could be either or, either or, two positives or two negatives. And then we use but for a con opposing ideas, okay? Ideas opuestas, opposing ideas. So aquí les puse un dibujito, I put a little design here. Let me see, can you see it? Yes, I see. Okay, do you want it a little bit bigger? Mejor? Is it better? Yes. Better. Much okay. Better. All right. Thank you. I want you to feel comfortable. Okay. I want you to feel good. So if you tell me, teacher, tell me. Okay. Cualquier idea, please, please let me know. Okay. Please let me know. Conmigo no hay penas. All right. So you can always speak, speak. No problem with me. Okay. Now let's continue. We use and like I was mentioning for two positive or two negative ideas. And having said that, let's look at number. Can someone give me an example? Yeah, para ver la práctica aquí. Can someone give me an example using and or but? Either one, whichever one you want. And or but. Remember, and connects two matching ideas, which means either it could be two negatives or two positives. Or you can give me one that is opposing, one positive. Y ahí ponemos el pero, ¿verdad? Pero, but, either dan algo negativo or something positive or something negative. Can someone give me an example? But, and the second is but. Okay, can you give me your own example? Me puede dar su propio, your own example? Just uh, away from the screen, just your own. Uh, your own? I see I, the group, uh, I can hear you. What happened? Hello? Somebody said something? Judy? I can see the group. Yes. Okay. Can you repeat it, please? I can see the video, but I can't hear it. Okay, I can't hear, okay. 
Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you, Judith. Thank you, very good. Anyone else? Alguien más? Anyone else? That... Okay, Amilcar. Okay. I have a license, but I don't have a car. Ah, very good, very good, excellent, good example. I have a <laughs> license, but I don't have a car, right? Tengo licencia, pero no tengo carro, right? Thank you, Amilcar. Yes, good yes, example. of course. <laughs> yes, good example. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else? Alguien más? Anyone else? No? Okay, let's continue. Now. Me teacher. Ah, me teacher. ¿Quién es mi teacher? Sarai? <laughs> Sarai. Okay, yes. go ahead, Sarai. Uh, well, I am a baker, but I don't like eat cakes. Okay, okay. Very good, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. Anyone else? Anyone else? Animas quiere dar su propia, su propia oración. Anyone else? Very good. Okay, let's continue. Thank you. Thank you for participating. All right. Now, we have here, can someone read, please? Voy a empezar a llamar a personas. I'm going to start calling people. Eric Fernandez, you have your microphone on. Go ahead, Eric Fernandez. Can you do number so, two, please? Uh, you have a laptop, but you don't have a computer. Ah, very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. You have a laptop, right? A laptop, but yes. you don't have a computer. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Evelyn. Evelyn? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> All right. Can you do number three, please? Okay. They have a webcam and they have a camera. Ah, very good. They have a webcam and they have a camera, right? Two positives. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Ailey Michelle. Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, they live in Chile, um, but they were in Peru. Mm, okay, can you repeat it, please? They live in Chile, mm -hmm. but they were in Peru. Excellent. Good job. Good job. They live in Chile, but they work in Peru. Excellent. 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 Well done. Two different places, right? Chile and Peru. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Let me see. Emily Gonzalez. Can you do the next one, please? They have a printer and they have a, an MP3 player. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think, class? And Would it we be have a printer. We have a printer and they have an MP3 player. Okay, we're talking about two different things. Okay, very good, very good. You can do you can do it that way also. That very good, very good. That is sometimes it depends how you want to perceive it, right? We have a printer and they have an MP3 player. Two different types of devices, right? Two different types of device. Very good. Someone else that would like to participate in doing number six? Veronica Aldana? I speak Spanish, but I speak English. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 no. I speak Spanish. I speak Spanish and I speak English. Very good. Excellent, right? You're connecting two different languages, right? Very good. Ambos positivos. Very good, Veronica. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Maria Jose Ayala. La veo ahí activa. Go ahead, Maria. They live in Chile and they work in Chile. Very good. So they live there <laughs> and they work there, right? Excellent. Well done. Um, let me see. Maria Azucena. Am I pronouncing it correct? Yes. Okay. You you work in Lima and you live in Cusco. Very good, very good. Is that correct? Mm, I believe it's bad. Ah, very good, excellent, right? You work in Lima, but you, but live, in you live in Cusco. In Cusco. Okay. But very good. It will be the same as saying, I live <clears throat> I live in 
where? Give me a place. Uh, San Miguel, right? I live in San Miguel, but I work in Usulután, right? I live in San Salvador, but, or I can say I work in San Salvador, but I live in Aguachapan. Aguachapan. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Great. Great. Yes. Very good. Now, um, next one, Roberto Adonai. Okay. Uh, number nine. I don't have a website, but I have an email address. Eh, very good. Está poniendo una alternativa ahí, right? Pero, right? But, thank you, Roberto. Very good. I don't have a website, but I have an email, right? I don't have, I don't <laughs> have Facebook, but I have Instagram, right? Or you can say I have Instagram, but I don't have Facebook, right? Very good. Excellent. Well done. And the last one, the last one, let me see. Elizabeth Gutierrez. Elizabeth Gutierrez. Okay, no answer. Let me see. Um, Yosabeth Arias. Déjeme ir poniendo nombres aquí, por favor. Okay. Okay, your audio is a little bit, it's a little bit awkward, but yeah, we have two cars and we have three bicycles, right? Bicycle. Okay, we needed the S here. <clears throat> we needed the S there, bicycles, right? Bicycles. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. But you, if we say the two answers, because I believe the two answers are correct, right? Which one? Because if we say we have two cars and we have three bicycles and yes. we can say two, we have two cars, uh, but we have three bicycles too. You can, you can use both there because you're actually, you, you can, it depends on the, how you want to look at it, right? You can look at it as something opposite or you can use it as something in similar, for example, car to get to work and I can have a bicycle to go to work, right? So you can use both. You are correct, America. In some, it depends on the context or the perception. The perception. Okay. Also. Okay. So thank you. Thank okay, you for your input. Very good. Well done. Okay. Well done. Well done. Okay. Now, let me see. Okay. Great. Now, now that we saw this. Let's look at the next one. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Does someone have something to say? Uh, Let's see. Go with the next one. The next, the next part, the next conjunction is However, though, remember the video that we just watched? Remember, however, though, however, though, it's practically when you say, sin embargo, right? However, look at this, look at these options. Can you read it, please? I have a little bit of examples here, and right now, uh, Eric, Fernandez, can you read, please? The union, the, the union came up with a plan. The government wants to, re, I don't know what is the pronunciation. Re, renegotiate, renegotiate. Renegotiate. However. Very good. The next one. Camping in the summer is fun. You must remember to use sunscreen, however. Sunscreen. Something. Very good. However, what is sunscreen? This is the sunglasses. No, no, no. Okay, sunscreen. 
Can you see me in the camera? Okay. Protector. Okay, protector for? For, for skin. For the sun. All right, from the sun, sun. and it's for the skin, right? You're both yeah. correct. But it's in our body. Right? For the sun in your body, right? That is sunscreen. Our skin. That is sunscreen. Okay. So when you go, for example, to places like La Union or, or, or San Miguel, where it's hot, right? And it's, and you go to the beach and you put sunscreen, right? So you won't get like burnt. Well, your skin won't burn, right? Or you will get red skin. That is sunscreen. <laughs> what about um, union? Union. The union came up with a plan. The government wants to renegotiate. What is re renegotiate? Do you understand that sentence? We understand sunscreen, right? Summer. What about this one? The union is for the people that you work for, that you work for, they have a union, right? They have a union, mainly in a, there are a lot of unions in the United States. In the United States, unions are very popular. They're very popular, okay? Prácticamente el sindicato, sindicato de cada trabajo, right? De cada área, that is the union. That is called the union, right? So renegotiate means renegociar. Negotiate is impossible, and then renegotiate means to redo again. Okay, for example, you you come up with something, it's like, oh, let's think about it, or let's negotiate, let's come to an agreement, let's come to an agreement. Okay, however, at the end. However. Now, however, okay. It is, it is also common, okay, I'm going to go a little bit beyond, más allá del video, a little bit further than the video. You can put however in between the sentences, okay? You can put them there also. The union came up with a plan. However, the government wants to renegotiate. Camping in the summer is fun. However, Sorry. you must remember to use sunscreen. But that is just extra that I'm giving you. In the platform is used at the end, lo usan al final. But you can also use it in the middle, okay? Just for extra, extra knowledge. Teacher. Yes. Uh, we always write a, a comma before the conjunction. Yes. Always. Always. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Amen. Only, however, only, however, and though, or no, there are any... more. There are more other conjunctions. Okay. 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 Thanks. Teacher, you can use now. You can use also a semicolon. Okay. You can use also semicolons, but it's more. It's mostly used with a comma. Comma. Okay. Mostly with a comma, especially with but, and end. Como pueden ver aquí, however, okay? Here, I'm going to ask you, let's look at the next one. Can you read, Roberto, continue, please? It is a small country. It's overpopulated, though. Okay, very good. It is a small country. It's overpopulated, though, All right? Small country, but it's overpopulated. What country would that be? Can anyone guess? Can anyone guess what country would that be? The Salvador is an example. <laughs> yes, very good. It's small and it's overpopulated, right? Yes, per capita. Very good, very good, Robert. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see with the next one. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Michelle, can you read the next sentence, please? Ailey, Michelle, hello. Okay. <laughs> Snorking sand fun. Fins. I can fin. Fins with an S. Fins. Yes. I can swim though. Very good. I can't swim though, right? 
Very good. So we have here sentences where you're using at the end the conjunction, for example, sin embargo, right? Sin embargo. And what I want to ask you is, now there's some that show contrast, showing contrast or showing a positive opposing views. For example, it seems fun, right? Seems. It's like, yeah, snorking. Snorking. Anyone here has done snorking? Has anyone done snorking? I think I chose snorking. No. No? No. no. Not the joke. Okay. Never. Never? Okay. I would like, right? Yeah, right? I would like, I would like, said Evelyn, right? So snorking, you can go and enjoy it and you have to be in the water, right? But what happens if you can't swim? Si no puede nadar, can you do snorking? Right? So this is like a contrasting, right? Yeah, snorking. No, you're like, yeah, but hmm, I can't swim, right? No puedo nadar, right? I can't swim, right? So that is what you what you use to show contrast, 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 the opposite. It's a small country. It's overpopulated, though. And sure, uh, though is though uh, meaning uh, aunque. Aunque también, yes, yes, yes. Very good. Oh, okay. sin embargo. Oh, sin embargo, yes. Right? Okay. Right? For example, here it is. It is a small country, aunque está sobrepoblado. Right. Here it will, you would say it that way, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Amica, for Victor Henry. Yes, sir. Thank you for participating. Now, I showed you this. I gave you examples. You you saw the video. Now, this is what I want you to do. You did the practice here with me in class. This is what I want you to do. I want you to. Start speaking. Speaking time. All right. Maria's like, hey. <laughs> All right. So, oh my God. <laughs> this is speaking time now. I'm going to give you a few minutes. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Young style in breakout rooms, right? Yes. yes teacher. All right. Great. Yes, Mr. Henry. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. And now I want you to put in practice and apply your knowledge apply your knowledge okay aplicar su conocimiento apply your knowledge now you're going mm -hmm. to use can <clears throat> but however okay. though though okay one of each tiene que usar una de cada una right each each one at least one time so you can use and but let me see However and though. However and though. So, right? so I'm going to put screen, but alguno que like teacher ya se me olvidó or whatever. I'm going to put it right here. All right. Okay. However, though, those are the other two. How many conjunctions? Four. 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 Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos. Hey. Hello. Roberto Carlos, do you have your hand raised? Hi, teacher. Hi. No, teacher, este, tenía un inconveniente de que eh, no podía ingresar al, al, a la reunión. Mm, okay, remember that the video, the conference is recorded. Eh, la conferencia está siendo grabada. And eh, you can always watch it. Okay, you can always watch it on the links on YouTube. Okay, remember, esto se puede ver en YouTube. Everyone have access, right? Todos tienen acceso a ver las videoconferencias y las grabaciones? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And if you don't, you can sir. you can let me know. Si no, you can let me know and I will give you the link. Si le puedo dar el link para que vean las videoconferencias. Okay. Uh, who has a question? Eh, con respecto a la posición, sí. siempre tiene que ir al final. Uh, is that Evan? However, in the... Okay. For, for, in the platform, in the platform, como es el guía, in the platform, it says to use it at the end, right? To use it at the end. However, 
sin embargo, mm -hmm. however, it's not always at the end, okay? You can put it here in the middle, okay? Let me see, Evelyn, you asked me the question, right? Usted me preguntó, Evelyn? No. Yes. No, yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, those Evelyn is like, okay, sorry, okay. <laughs> The other Evelyn, right? Evelyn uh, Liniana, not you, right? Did you ask no, me? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Now, Evelyn, uh, can you say your last name, please? Can you give me your last name, uh, Cubia? Elizabeth. Es que aquí en la pantalla veo nomás dos nombres. Evelyn Cubia, dice. Evelyn Elizabeth Cubia. Okay. okay. So remember, les quiero uh, recordar algo. I want to, I'm going to say in Spanish, okay? Recordarles algo. Eh, en cualquier momento puede entrar administración o administrativo de INSAFOR también, los <coughs> cuales ellos verifican si de verdad están usando o poniendo su nombre completo, okay? Veo muchos aquí que no están poniendo su nombre completo. Entonces, les sugiero yo y les pido de solicitud que pongan su nombre completo a la hora de entrar a la conferencia, ¿ok? Así como está en usted registrada con ISAFOR, ¿ok? So, eh, les sugiero, como aquí, Evelyn, aquí no sale ese nombre que usted me está diciendo. So, no, no lo puedo ver, pero me dijo que era Evelyn, ¿what? Elizabeth. Ok, Evelyn, Elizabeth. Eh, ¿Prefiere Elizabeth o Evelyn? <laughs> okay, Evelyn. All right, very good. Okay, Evelyn. I can, yes, teacher. In yes. my case, you can call me Lily. Okay, Lily. All right, thank you. All right, excellent. Good job, Lily. All right, let me give you this. All right, I respect that. Okay. All right. Okay, Evelyn. Can you give me the on the said camping is fun? Can you read right here? Camping is fun. Can you read okay. it? Yes. Okay. Camping in the summer is fun. Okay. However. However, you must remember to use sunscreen. Okay. Very good. Now you can see you can use it there. All right. La puedo utilizar allí. You can use it there, and it's correct. Okay. It's correct. But in the platform, okay. in the platform, when you do the homework, cuando hacen las tareas en la plataforma, they have you doing it at the end, all right? But you can also use it here in the middle, okay? But in the platform, en la plataforma, utilícelo al final. Ahí le estoy dando extra, okay? You can, okay, Evelyn? You okay. puede. Okay. You can do it. Thank you. Can you. Put it. Okay, no problem. All right, let me see. I'm going to... Put you in breakout rooms for about maybe four minutes. I think you have it completed. Remember, this is going to be a speaking activity, and you are going to be with your classmates and give an example. Give an example of each of each uh, conjunction. Remember four. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to yeah. enter the rooms. All right, ready. Okay, Lily, I see you're excited. You're ready? One, two, three. Remember, this is speaking. I don't want you to be like, oh, espera, me voy a escribir. No, it's speaking, 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 right? Say it however you think is correct. All I want you to do is practice your speaking skills. Ready? One, two, three. Breakout rooms. Please enter. Practice with your classmates. Diego, Maria Jose, Josabeth, can you enter breakout rooms, please? Evelyn, Roberto Carlos, can you enter breakout rooms, please?
Evelyn Josabeth, Roberto Garcia, and Roberto Carlos, please enter breakout rooms. Mm-hmm. I don't hear nobody speaking. <laughs> uh, we were talking, yeah, we were uh, thinking about also, we don't know like uh, how can you use it uh, at, okay. at, that's, I don't know if you can give us just a, a little example. Okay, for which ones? For but and and oh. also, I guess, though, I don't know okay. which one is it. Okay, you have to do these and and but. Let's do the nueve ejemplo, nine here. And then I gave you examples here with however and though. I gave you four. Gotcha. Okay, which one would you okay. prefer? ¿Cuál prefiere este eh, or this one? The other uh, one. Okay, the other one. Okay, See this one. Yeah. Okay, you can take a picture. Yeah. Okay. Remember that when we use these in embargo, however, okay. And if you need these, and and but, and and but. Okay. Uh, you. Las escucho. Uh, uh, you have a laptop, but you don't have a computer. Okay. Yeah. These are these are uh, examples, but you have to create your own. Tienen que crear sus propias ejemplos. Oh. Okay. It's your oh, own. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Uh. I Yesterday, I went to buy pupusas, but it was a little crowned, crowned, so I wasn't able to do it. So I wasn't able, I wasn't. Very good, very good. Yes, very good, excellent, yes. Así es, that's how you do it, that's how you do it. Excellent, right? Okay, now with but. Who wants to do but? Emily? Uh, Evelyn? Uh, I think I speak English very well, but I don't write English. Okay, but I, all right. Very good, very good. Emily, great, great example. Very good, very good. Okay, continue, continue. That's Ivan. You're going to, you have two more. Though and however. It's correct if I say and um, go shopping, it's very fun. Maybe you need to use a credit card for whatever. Okay, but you're using uh, maybe, okay? You're using maybe, right? That is another word. I, I will try to use the but, okay? But, uh, but. Okay, continue. Let me see. Um, I did my homework, but uh, however, I didn't show it at, at classes. <laughs> I didn't show up two classes. Two classes. Oh, two classes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Arely. Yes, I practice it. Yeah, that's great. Keep continuing. Great job. Great job. Great effort. Great effort.
Hello, teacher. Hi. Are you finished? Hey, <laughs> Almost. Almost. All right. Great. <laughs> Almost. Right. Ya <laughs> casi. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Great. Great. Okay. Continue. Continue. Remember, okay. this is a speaking activity. Okay. Speaking activity. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, Celine. Okay. Well. Yeah. I like to cook uh uh, however, uh, I only can can cook uh, soup, chicken soup. <laughs> chicken soup. <laughs> yes. Chicken soup. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So I have already the four sentences. The okay. first is I like Coca Cola and I like Pepsi. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Right. Pupusas are delicious, but it's not the only tasty food in El Salvador. Great. Great. Okay. The okay. Empire have a plan. The rebels surprise them. However, okay. I don't know if you if you watch uh, Star Wars. Are the rebels? Yeah and the empire. So they are yeah. always fighting. And the last one is I have a car. I don't drive very well though. Really? <laughs> that K, you're going to teach me. <laughs> okay, great. Great example. Very good. Okay. Okay, this is my turn. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I live in Zaragoza City. Mm -hmm. However, sometimes I live in Santa Tecla, La Libertad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, very good, very good. Okay. Okay, welcome back everyone. Okay. I hope you had a little bit of time to practice. I know it's very probably was, was, probably... Very, yeah, was very fantastic. Okay, great, great. Now let's go okay. to the next activity, right? It was very fantastic. Very good. And the classmate it was very excellent. Yes, very very uh very expressive, right? Very okay, expressive. Okay. Yes, very good. Let's go with the next part and let me see. Motor verbs. Now, you can take the Puente Mar Captura. You can take a picture of this if you want. Now, I gave you, I always try to give you extra, okay? Yo siempre voy a tratar de darle más de lo que se les proporciona, all right? So I'm always going to provide you with extra, extra information, okay? I will never leave you like, ah, oh, just the minimal. No, I'm going to give you, try to give you more than the minimal try to read as much. I know the time is it's not a, it's not too long, but let's try to cover the main topics. Let's read, please. Yes. Um, yes. Amilcar, motor verbs. Yes. Okay. Can you read the two motor verbs? Uh, Ken? Ken? Ken. Yes. Can you read that? Ken. 
ability 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 yes uh, present uh, i can speak chinese very good right remember can you can use it for an ability una habilidad yes. right an ability yes. i can speak english i can speak uh, portuguese i can speak spanish so let's continue continue milka possibility okay present uh, one wrong move can lose the whole game very good possibility right possibility possibility yes possibility yes exactamente yes. exactly right okay for example one can tell you hey can you work tomorrow mm, yes i can right can you work on sunday right it's a possibility okay. next one continue Amirka. permission 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 yes informal if you need you can take my car right, hablando de carros right talking about cars right okay a permission when you want to give permission to someone it's informal okay. but you can still use it for permission right hey can i borrow your car yes you can right can i use your laptop right can i use your cell phone mm, right maybe not right <laughs> let me see can, um thank you amirka i'm going to call on someone else for participation okay, okay. maria maria jose you're welcome thank you very much continue please request can you give me a hand very good offer how can i help you very good and cannot you can smoke here this is the hospital very good so as you can see here we have a negative part where you cannot Excellent. it's not allowed no es permitido right for example, uh, you can't smoke here. This is a hospital, okay? You can't drink here. This is a church, right? right? You can't, right? You can't. So you can, <laughs> you can uh, do an offer, right? How can I help you, right? When you go into a supermarket, how can I help you? ¿Cómo le puedo? El, el verbo poder, can, can. ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? How can I help you? Request. Can you give me a hand? No es que le va a dar una mano. Así, right? Not, but give me a hand. Help. Help. Can you give me a hand? Yes, Maria Jose. And what about may? It's a modal verb? Yes, it is. That is another modal verb. Yes. Oh, that, okay. is, that is more formal. Es el formal. Yes. May I help you? I will be formal. Okay. We're looking at can porque así está en la plataforma. Okay. But yes, you're correct, Maria. There is, I, there are more. There are more. Okay. This is can. Now, should, should. Who would like to participate that hasn't participated? Let me see. Um, let me call Romulo. Can you help me with your name, please? Romulo Edgardo. Cerritos. Okay, thank you, thank you. Will you prefer Romulo or Edgardo? Uh, Edgardo is okay. Okay, very good. Edgar, in English, right? <laughs> okay. okay, Edgardo, go ahead and read, please. Should. Okay, should. Use of should. Advice or suggestion. Mm -hmm. Your hair is too long. You should get a haircut. Very good, continue. Situation likely in the present. Mary should be at home now. Give her a call. Very good. Like in the future. Likely. Likely in the future. They should win tonight. They are a better team. Very good. Here we're using it for a prediction. A prediction. A prediction. Okay. prediction. A prediction. Likely in the future. Okay. Aquí le estoy dando más allá de lo que está escrito. Right? I'm giving you extra. Likely in the future. For example, when El Salvador played Mexico, right? We could have said, I was like, they should win tonight, right? They are they're a better team. Or El Salvador team. To be, should win tonight, right? Aquí really? una predicción. Likely in the future, right? Should es como deberían. Deberían ganar hoy. Son el mejor equipo. Deberían. Should. 
una sugerencia o advice, consejos. Okay. All right? So we use should, should for advice and suggest. I'm giving you these two extras, two extra parts. Okay? Situation likely in the present. For example, Mary should be home. Mary debería estar en casa ya. Dale una llamada, dice aquí, right? So you can say, um, you should, you should start eating. You should start eating. The food is ready. The, the food is hot, right? The food is hot. You should start eating, right? No espera hasta que se enfríe, right? You shouldn't wait till it gets cold. Yes, um, Maria Jose. Uh, sorry. <laughs> ah, you raise your hand, right? So when you raise your hand, I'm like, okay, quizás she has a question. Okay, let me see. Anyone else have a question? I think Sarah, he had a, you raise your hand? Levantó la mano. Yes. 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 Este, what is the difference between better and best? Um, for example, in the last example, says they should win tonight. They are a better team. Okay. And better. I think that I can say they are the They're best. Better. Okay. Okay. Better is uh, All right. meaning mejor. All right. The better, better is is what you call. You're comparing one team with another. Superlative. Yes, yeah. it's a comparative. It's a comparative. Yes, it's, a it's a comparative. Yes. And the best is the, the best. Superlative. Yes, it's the superlative. It's the superlative. The best is referred to everyone. All right. Uh, the all best. Teams. The best yes. of all the teams. But here we're just yeah, talking all. about two teams. For example, I gave you the example of El Salvador and Mexico. So you have a comparative adjective versus a superlative. Okay. I mean, a okay. comparative and a superlative. The best okay, thank you. and better. Okay. This is comparative. Esto se le llama comparativo. Okay. And the other will be superlative. Good question, Sarai. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Now, now that you know about can and should, I'm going to give you some examples. Choose can or, sh or should. Choose can or should. Can you read the first one, please, Eric? I can should. Uh, okay, go ahead. I, I can't. Decide which dress I'm going to buy. Very good. So we have a conversation here between Alice and Brenda, right? So we say, I can't decide which dress I'm going to buy. Very good, right? No puede. I can't, right? Can't make a, a decision. Very good. Very good. Number two, mm, Judy del Carmen. I think. I think you should buy the red one. Very good. Why should? Está dando una sugerencia. You're giving an advice, a suggestion. Very good. You should. I think you should, right? Deberías. Very good. Number three. Um, Maria Jose. Uh, the red one? I can't buy it. It's too expensive. Very good, right? Very good, excellent. That is the possibility. Like, no, nah, it's too expensive. It's too expensive. Um, Roberto Carlos Garcia. The next one, please. Sure, Brenda, oh, it really is then maybe you you should buy the black one. Very good, excellent, excellent. You should buy the black one, right? Giving a suggestion and advice. Deberías buy the black one, right? Very good, very good. You're doing great. You're doing great. Now, ya que veo el avance de ustedes, now I see the, the advancement of everyone here. Five, six, seven, and eight. Aquí, ojo aquí, please pay attention here. You have to do this and you have to send it 
to the group? Should or can? Can or should? All right. Cada uno de ustedes, let me see how many people I have here. I have 24. Tengo, déjenme tomar captura de la pantalla. Let me, let me take screenshot so I can see the names. Para ver los nombres. Now, what are you going to do? You are going to do five, six, seven, and eight. Just four. Just four. Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. What is the problem here? I'm going to share this to the group and you are going to send it. All right. Five, six, seven, and eight. For today, for today, you do not have to write the sentence. Okay? No es necesario que escriban la oración. You don't have to write the complete sentence. Just give me the answer. But if you want to write the whole sentence, you can write the whole sentence and you circle or you write the correct word. Okay? You can write the whole sentence and then put, you don't have to, root, you don't have to write cara, Steve, cara, Steve. All right? You can just write the sentence. I want to travel, but I don't know where. What? All right. ¿Qué, qué puedo hacer? What can, All right. what can yeah. I do? All right. Let me see. All right. You're going to do it and you're going to send it to the group. Okay. ¿Qué puedo hacer o qué podría hacer? Which one is correct? I want to travel. Quiero viajar, pero no sé dónde. ¿Qué puedo hacer o qué podría hacer? Which one do you think is correct? All right? What can or what should I do? You I can do. or you should, all right? So you can, quiero que me lo manden al grupo con su nombre completo. I want you to send it to the group with your complete name, okay? In the group. Ahí le mandé la captura al WhatsApp. I want you to send it. When you send it, I want you to put your complete name. Quiero su nombre completo, por favor. I want your complete name con la respuesta de esta actividad. So what you're going to do is, I do not want it in text. No lo quiero en texto. Lo quiero escrito en un, en un cuaderno. All right? In, in the classes with me, le sugiero que tenga ya preparado un cuadernito. Porque si sí vamos a hacer bastantes actividades. And I'm saying in Spanish, por si alguien no me puede escuchar bien or something, quiero que quede eso claro. You, please. Si no tienen un cuadernito, para mañana tengan uno listo. Because we will do plenty of activities, speaking activities, and activities in class. And that is for tomorrow. No, that is for today. Eso es para hoy, para ahorita. For now. Yes, for right now. Le voy a... Uh, needs to be the all of us. Excuse me? It's for all of us. Yes, all of you. Todos, son 24. Okay. All of you. So I want all of you to start sending it. Yo sé que ya nos pasamos three minutes. If you do not do it within two minutes or three minutes, you have to send it once we finish the class. Terminando la clase. When we finish the class, please send it. But for right now, I'm giving you two minutes with me. If you have a question, then I'm going to end the class. Excuse me, Mr. Henry, but only only since five to eight. Yes, only this, five, six, seven, and eight. Only ah, the okay, answer. Thank you. Okay, thank you. only the answer, thank you. right? Okay. Only answer, what, so how are you going to do it? Okay. You're going to put number five. This is an example. Okay. Number five, okay. you choose can. To, to eight. Can or should. Okay, ¿cuál sería okay. la respuesta? Es todo. Okay. Number five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you give me your answer. Okay, teacher. Okay, choose one, only one. Can or should? Can okay. or should? Can okay, or... Mr. Henry. Okay, thank you. Please send it. Remember to send it in writing. Lo quiero escrito, not in text. And a copy book. Yes. And then you're going to take a picture to exactly. send you. Exactly. You take a picture okay. and you send it to the group. 
you send okay. it to the group with your name, with your complete name. Okay. Okay. All right. Way. Great. I will. I will grade it. Okay. Le voy a, le voy a dar mi observación. I will give my observation, and I will give you the answer. There are twenty-four of you, so I should have. Well, I, there are twenty-five. There are twenty-five. Hay 25 de ustedes, así que son 25 capturas que voy a necesitar. All right. There are 25 of you. So that should get 25 answers. This should complete your section one. Okay. Es hora de avanzar. It's time to advance. Let me see. Thank you for your offer, Mister. No problem. I'm here to help you. Okay. I'm here to help you. I want you to start advancing. Okay. Remember, there are four weeks. Son cuatro semanas. Four weeks and son cinco secciones. We are finishing with section one, all right? So we will do the next sessions tomorrow. Maria Jose, you finished? All right. Yes, you finished. Very good, excellent. All right, class. So I, I see a lot of activity here, so you can uh, um okay let me see me espero un ratito que llegue acá para okay no problem all right let me see porque no tengo notebook okay Okay, class, so um, I stayed a, a few, uh, I gave you extra time, right? Me quedé un poquito más extra para apoyarlos aquí, apoyarlas, to help you in case you needed any questions or you had any doubts. So we should be, um, we should be finished with the, okay, no problem. Thank you, Elizabeth. And we will continue tomorrow. All right. So I hope you enjoy the class. We passed a little bit. Lo pasamos unos minutos, but I did it for you. Lo hice por ustedes. All right. So enjoy. Thank you. See you. Tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone. It was a pleasure. Hey, teacher. Excellent. It was a pleasure to to know you. Great. It yeah. was a pleasure. Awesome. Hey, okay, Mr. Great. Henry. Yes, sir. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. No problem, Dina. Thank you. Remember, remember, cualquier duda, any doubts or whatever. Bueno, algunos que ya se contactaron conmigo, I'm going to say this in Spanish. Algunos que se contactaron conmigo, alguna dificultad, ya le respondí, right? Uh, remember, if hay alguna plataforma, let me know so I can talk to technical support and we can help you in whatever way possible. Okay? Aquí estoy okay. para ustedes. All right, good night, Thank everyone. You, Thank, you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Right. Bye. -bye. See you tomorrow. Great effort. I'm proud of you. Bye-bye.